Right. So this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well a Pisces Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 13th to uh, April 19th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you want to learn how to read tarot cards and uh, you like the way I do it I'm offering an, an online live tarot classes for beginners for beginners for now which in which I'm going to explain you the major arcana and how to interpret them in terms of career in terms of relationship in a positive standpoint in a negative standpoint and in generally how they sit into a dedicated spread that I'm using not just only for the purpose of the course but also for my private readings and uh, it's a uh, major arcana only friendly so if you when you finish that beginner's class hopefully you are going to be set to do your own private readings or personal re readings so that being set aside uh moving to the general weekly reading for pisces the first one which stands for the uh, topic of your week that is to be the ace of swords followed next it is uh, the uh, energy which is feeding and supporting the topic and um you are to be on fire throughout this week okay uh, it looks like that that is to be the um, King of Swords. Moving next, it is the challenges that you will have to and need to overcome here. That will be the challenge of the Five of Wands. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the gift and the blessing of the High Priestess. Then it is the impression that uh, people are going to have into you. That will be the impression of the Page of uh, Cups. And the last one, which is the Guidance that Tarot is offering. Uh, that will be the Tree of Swords. Uh, tree of uh, Wands, I'm sorry. That will be the Tree of Wands. So, uh, you are to be on fire. Why? Well, um, uh, for starters, with those energies, nothing will be... Um, how can I say it? Nothing that can happen throughout the week will have the ability to shock you. And because of it, that is coming through the energies. And because of it, it will feel like you always have the right measures for anything that is happening, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. That is because you will be able to maintain your cool. That is because you will, you will not panic in any kind of circumstances and instead of um, like said panicking and not knowing what to do you are going to start doing a very careful analysis because you are those energies are going to make you understand that only through a caref careful analysis uh, the most effective measures in term of career or in term of uh, relationship can be found can be executed and therefore a, a way out of whatever difficulty you may face is going to be revealed or a, a way through whatever pleasantly pleasantry you are to uh, experience is going to be capitalized so the, the reading is neither negative nor positive it just only says that whatever comes into your way you will have the awareness to make the most out of it and i mean really the most out of it with those uh, with those two cards because um, those energies are le leading you toward the situation of the Ace of Swords. And that is a situation where one uh, adopts the uh, accurate diagnosis, the, 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 uh, understands the reality, the truth about how it stands, where it stands, and what can do to simply grow. Okay? Uh, the negative aspect of the Ace of Swords it is that maybe the actions that are needed to be incorporated, so they can be the most effective actions, will require a bit of a um, drastic measures, but just a tiny bit, okay? Because, for example, the Ten of Swords would call for really drastic measures, an ultimatum. It either works out or it doesn't work out. While here you get to play around with them. According to the um, according to the situation, and by doing so, you're gonna show a few things that are gonna really make an impression into people, and uh, they will see that you are uh, what I like to say a force to be reckoned with. You are gonna show the strength of your spirit. Okay, that nothing can take you down. That whatever is coming, you're gonna face it proud and firm, 
and you are going to overcome it, which is seen here into the cards and also shows your vast intellectual capacity. So if people thought that you are uh, led by your nose, they are going to have a second guess because you have led those uh, that thought that they are leading you by your nose. OK, so it's like uh, overcoming uh, a smart or rather like clever people. OK, or, or a people that thought that they can use you. Now they understand that actually it serves into your favor because this is how the ener these energies of the King of Swords operates. OK, they always make everything that is going on around you of your use. It, it just requires an analytic mind and uh, a very strong intellectual capacity to uh, to make to be able to make use of it. And as we can see, you're going to have it throughout the week. Now, I'm not saying that people were dumb, but sometimes uh, they allow their emotions to, to get the better of them. And when you uh, act Best, uh, based on emotions, your intellectual capacity, it, it, it's simply thrown out the window. While here, the emotions are the least thing that you are going to rely on for what it seems, not because you don't want to, not because you know you're going to force yourself, but because the energies are going to make you do it. They will dictate it and you will have no problem doing it whatsoever. So you can expect to be very not successful, but effect effective. Success comes on its own accord once one is, is effective in career and in relationship, understanding what you got to do, how you got to do it and when you got to do it as well. So that leads us to the challenges here. And that will be the challenge of the five of ones, which is a challenge of conflicts. Um, the most negative way that this challenge could come up it is that someone around you has something that you do have and they want it. So simply they want to deprive you from it. OK, they want your job. They want your partner. They want your standing. They, they want your money and etc. etc. The good thing about the five of ones in these particular cases is just you can ignore these people. And they can't do anything about it because the five of ones, while it shows conflicts, it is not predisposed of a clashes. As you can see here, while everybody is pulling out their own personal ones, the ones are not clashing here like two swords, for example. OK, like sword and sword into one another and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, whichever um, attempt these people do to deprive you of anything, if you don't allow them or kind of like if you ignore them, they will be completely unsuccessful because you are going to have all of your um, leaks, if I may say it that way, or cracks into your environment completely filled up and uh, therefore they will have no opportunity to do anything for whatever they have planned. Um, the other way how we can look at the card as a challenge, it is the challenge of uh, utilization, if I may say it that way, capability to utilize everything that comes into your way, because the card points, the week is going to be very dynamic, there will be sudden around turns, okay, and I uh, want to make you use an advantage of those around turns, it needs to be swift, it, and it needs to be uh, calculative, so uh, but that will come naturally to you, like I said, from uh, from the energies. The only problem may come about if you try to muffle those really strong intellectual uh, and uh, mental energies with emotional energies uh, if, or emotional standpoints. So your logic tells you that you got to do one thing, but you feel bad about it and you don't do it. So that will be the uh, the challenge that you do overcome your emotions and act what your intelligence dictates you. So that leads us to the next one here, which uh, stands as the guidance, uh, not the guidance, but the gifts and the blessings that uh, Taro is offering to you. And uh, the High Priestess is a very milder card into that particular narrative. Uh, it does point that everything is going to go normal. OK, it's just as simply as what it says, that there won't be any fluctuations downwards, upwards, can go but not downwards the very so you you have one milestone or kind of like a checkpoint that you are at right now and that that is exactly what allows you to uh, make your calculations to take your time uh, and do the best or kind of like adopt the, the best appropriate actions in order to be effective and those actions can only uh, 
provide they can only be better or rather like they can only make you grow rather than to a uh, deteriorate your situation that is the practical gift that the high priestess gives you now the spiritual gift of the high priestess is that throughout this week you're gonna come about or you're gonna learn a certain aspects of your life that up until now you have suspected but you were not exactly sure so you can expect some sort of a uh, a mystery revealed and under mystery revealed i'm not talking about secret or a lie or something like that it's just a mystery that you have been baffled over for example why do i love that person or why do you, do i want to work that job and that kind of thing is going to be revealed to you through your own inner voice and inner guidance which is very very different into uh, from intuition but i'm explaining that uh, into my uh, tarot classes so moving next we are going for the um, impression that uh, people were um, gonna have for you or what kind of an eyes people were looking you from and that will be the impression of the page of cups so a strong one uh, first of all uh, while you are going to be very calculative you know and completely oriented mentally and logically and acting with intelligence people are not going to see that they're only going to see caring and really loving person so that could happen for two reasons either you are very good into masking your actions and you're, you're not allowing your com competitors or um, your enemies to see the true intentions behind them which is a very good thing or people are um, kind of like having the uh, the perspective that what you are doing is for the greater good in either way you are unlikely to face any difficulties with anybody that you are tackling with as a matter of fact people the, the people around you are going to see you like preparing for a, a big change that you are to exert in your life because uh, the page of uh, the page of cups usually looks toward the future it's attentive to the overview rather than to the uh, irritating details and it, it's um it has nothing against uh, readopting positions, which you are going to do, but out of in intelligence uh, and wisdom rather than out of emotions and uh, making crucial reassessments over its uh, uh, its endeavors and over its, uh, its enterprises, which you're also going to do, but not because you are feeling emotionally dissatisfied or satisfied, but because your logic tells you that it is better to position yourself in a different way and finally what we do have for you Pisces that is to be the guidance the tarot is offering here we have the tree of wands very good card another confirmation that you are sitting on a, a very well established patterns career wise and relationship wise and now is the time to think of how you can improve on those patterns now with the tree of wands there are two very important traits First of all, improvement happens only through a challenge. So you got to this demand for more, or kind of like you have to ask for more from yourself, that is. And therefore, by analyzing what more you can achieve, identifying the most effective methods and actions, how you can get it. And the other thing about the Tree of uh, Wands, it is that's um, a reminder that if you are going for a something new which you define with the uh, with the analysis you do you can definitely have it the way you want to have it because uh, the tree of wands points complete synch uh, synchrony in between the actions you do and the, and the expectations you do have okay so the results are going to match your expectations which means that your methods and your actions are going to be very uh, if not flawlessly effective throughout the week so uh, that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading april 13 to april 19 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well if you are interested in to start learning tarot cards and you like the way I do it, you like the way I read tarot cards, you can sign up for my online tarot classes which are live tarot classes and in there, uh, in the beginner class, I'm going to teach you in a uh, 
six lectures how um, you can interpret the major arcanas in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, how they stand in a positive position in spread, those positions that tells you what's, what, uh, what is holding you back, right? And in a positive position in spread, which tells you what helps you, for example. And in generally how to take on the card in every single position in my dedicated spread that I use for a, my private readings and as well, um, you know, for, uh, for reading just only Major Arcanas and I'm using it for the course as well. It's Major Arcana friendly what I mean and at the end of the course, even the beginner's course, you are to be set to go to do your own uh, personal readings, your own private readings, if you will. So that being said, uh, hopefully we are going to see each other around. Stay safe and until next time. Bye.